Okay, what I'm about to tell you is the greatest story of the whole world. We're changing the composition of the atmosphere. And don't tell me you can't spot the changes. We had snow in September. Remember the frozen days and blackouts? We have a planet changing before our eyes. You see the problem here, you see the urgency, it's time to take some actions. What brings about the problem are greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane, which absorb heat and act like a blanket warming the planet. Now what we humans do is that we take all the carbon from Earth and burn it off to the atmosphere. So you wanna add more of those greenhouse gases, you'll be throwing an extra cozy comforter on top of the bed. I want to draw your attention to a small component of this planetary crisis, and that's methane. We get it everywhere, from oil and gas to landfills and cattle farms. I want to throw in some numbers and ask you to trust me on those. This methane, although not as famous as carbon dioxide, is 25 times stronger in terms of its global warming potential. So when conditions are not right for capturing it for energy purposes, if there was only a way that we could convert this methane into carbon dioxide, we could reduce its net greenhouse gas effects by almost 90%. Fortunately, there is biofilters. Biofilters are boxes of packed granular material home to a workforce of tiny microbes which will take methane alongside oxygen and produce carbon dioxide and water. Now, these army of tiny microbes are really low maintenance. They don't ask for much. Just give them a home, keep them warm, and they'll do their job. In our research team, we're working on this simple concept and try to modify it to get better efficiencies in terms of methane conversion and ease of operation. So we're proposing an enclosed system with multiple layers of material where we can have oxygen injected at different points, make sure it's evenly distributed across the profile and easily accessible to microbes whenever they need it. And these systems don't kind of come at a high price. Just think of the tray holding containers you see in IKEA food court, except that they're enclosed, so we can make sure that all conditions are very well kept within their optimum range, and we can make use of this environmentally friendly technology to its full potential. To close, I'm just gonna pinpoint the fact that it's not about polar bears and far-fetched islands sinking anymore, it's about us. If there's anything we've learned from history is the fact that small variations in concentrations of greenhouse gases can cause dramatic mood swings in the climate. As David Suzuki puts it, we're all in a giant car heading towards a brick wall and everyone's arguing where they're gonna sit. But let's not dish optimism just now. Let's start small, sw switch to a low carbon economy and fight for something that deserves the best of our efforts. If Walmart is going green, then why don't we? Thank you. <laughs>